Ready to fight. Ready. Four. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the plane. division and put it to good use there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Oh, big left hook there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Right hook coming, it's blocked. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead play. Nice punch here. Went for the inside leg kick. Leg kick. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. It's a good kick. There he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. He's in trouble. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, he hit him again, bro. That will land it clean. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. There you go. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. And another one. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Useful strike there, the hook is clean. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Beautiful job getting those hands up. He's got to cut above the eye now. Good fight here, under two to go. Beautiful combination by the champion there. He loaded up there on that high kick. That leg kick lands. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Back to the jab now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Double jab, cross. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Really using his reach advantage there with that punch. Look at that. Oh! Nice block. Oh, going for the takedown here. Big left hand there inside. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, and that kick is blocked. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fight and you see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. 
You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Now standing back and forth first round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody... Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Jab that by the champ. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab than front hand. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. been a crazy fight. Jab yet again out of range. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Oh, good work with the jab there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Man, that cut is so bad. You wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Trying to establish that jab once again. Both guys appeared to land there. Beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is working. <laughs> Terrible position. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do. If he's got to be careful here. Trying to finish this fight. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. 
change of the position. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this feet. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. He can't even stand. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent, and he keeps going to that spot. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ten seconds to go in the round. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Let's get this fight well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Well, one got through, that's it, he's gone. Straight punch land. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay off. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. So look for a submission attempt. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Just over three minutes now to go. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. All right, so that is too much, too much. I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner... Oh, oh that's it! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. 
So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team, family on the big result here tonight.